high school, over all that county. But you know what he was arrested for? He had been to four doctors in one day. He was buying pills. He was just like Michael English. He was doctor shopping, popping in pills, baby. Getting high. I'm still going to church. It's all right. It ain't all right. You're a hypocrite. You're a liar. you see your thought like that, when you just things in your body, I'm telling you tonight, friend, if you hide behind that mask, God is putting it off on you tonight. And God said, you won't hide that from me. I'm going to uncover you tonight. I'm going to uncover you. Hey, man, you know what that boy's going to do? He, number one, he's going to lose his job teaching basketball. Number two, he's going to be without a job. Now, he's got a college education. He went to high school. He went to college. And now he's going to be busted. And you know what he's going to have? He's going to have a felony record. Oh, boy. And then wrong with a felony record. Just try to get your job with a big felony record. Try to go out and do anything. And then when you got a right down on a convicted felon, I'm trying to help some people tonight to realize there's a right way, amen, to serve God tonight. The devil's a liar tonight, friend. He's told people it'll be all right. You know what Michael Frayden to do? He'll spend the rest of his life scarred and marred with that. Sure, we can forgive him. Sure, God can forgive him. But does the world? Not very likely. Not very likely. Hey, now look at what happened to Jimmy Swagger. Jimmy Swagger failed. And you know what? He's been the butt of every nighttime joke. Anytime they want to make fun of somebody, they make fun of Jimmy Swagger standing on television crying before millions of people saying, I see that. I see it. Sure, God can forgive him. But let me tell you, brother, the devil is out for your soul. He's out to drag you to hell. If he can tonight, he'll drag you to hell. He'll take you down a long, lonesome road. For all this, he said, the harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. For the hurt of the daughter of my people, I heard a black astonishment had taken hold of me. Is there a bomb in here? You know what a bomb is? It's a human sad. Is there no physician there? Why well, I then mean, is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? As I sit and watch that this afternoon, I prayed and asked God, Lord, please give people jobs. President Obama's promised that he's going to do everything he can to bring more jobs back like to America. But what's it going to be if he doesn't bring the jobs? What are we going to do with it? Are we going to go on like we did it? This nation wants to prosper, but they want to prosper on their means. God is less recognized today than 20 years ago. He's less recognized. Jesus ain't even allowed. I, I, I'm wondering, you know, when they got they got a different array of people going to pray. They got Rick Warren going to pray. And, and they tried to pin him down the other day. He wouldn't tell them how to pray. Amen. Let me tell you, let me pray. I'll stop and pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus is the Savior of the world. Then they got the Episcopal guy that's a, that's a homosexual, living with a man. He's a he's a bishop, supposed to be, but there ain't no bishop in the Bible that I've read about. Supposed to be. Amen. But he's going to pray. Oh, God bless America. God bless America. We've got a homosexual going to pray over the nation. Then we've got gays and lesbians going to march right up and down Pennsylvania Avenue because President Obama said, gay and straight. And you know what? That's easy. I don't like to be in a classified group. I'm straight, brother. I want you to know Ain't not a little twisted in my hand. I want you to know that right now. I ain't got no sissy call. I ain't got no sissy call. And I don't even like them serving me sometimes in restaurants when they come in there twisted uh, uh, like something's out of joint in their hip.
I'm sick and tired, brother, of people trying to tell me this is right. It's right as it fits your fancy. It's right as it pants your pocket. But it ain't right. Amen. If it's good to this to bring, it, it ain't going to matter to God what you watch when you stand before him, whether you're Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, Democrat, hypocrite, independent, or whatever. You know what God's going to do? He's going to look to see if the blood of his son is crying in your And if it's open your heart, you'll make it. But if it ain't, these people think because they're Pentecostal, they're over heaven. These people might think because they're a member of the Baptist church, they're going to heaven. I'll tell you what we're going to have to do. We're going to be a member of God's church. We're going to be a member of God's church. To find the right way. Find the right way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. Oh, he said, oh, Lord. Now my head were waters. And my eyes were a fountain of tears. And I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I have in the wilderness a lodging place. A wayfaring men that I might lead my people and go from them, for they be all adulterers and assemblies of treacherous men. And they bend their tongues like the bow for lies, but they are not battling for the truth upon the earth. That's exactly where we're at today. Men will find a tree lie to you before they stand on ground and tell you the truth. Amen. They won't take the truth. Amen. They'll whip under the cover deals. Amen. They'll lie just to get an extra dollar. They'll do about anything. I'm going to tell you something tonight. The bed's too long and the cover's too short. There'll be an old dirty toe wagon outside the cover. You better clean your life up. Amen. If you're dishonest, you better get honest. If you cheat people, you better stop it. Amen. If you're lying, you better stop lying. If you're sinning, you better stop sinning. God's saying to you tonight, it's time to clean the house of God up. Judgment's a time. And when judgment comes, it's going to begin in the house of God. Oh, listen to me tonight. This world ain't never seen nothing like they're going to see when the wrath of God begins to fall on this country. You're going to see men cry. You're going to see the highest of high fall to the lowest of low. You're going to see men that don't they stood so big to be paid George Bush, Barack Obama, Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, and one of them tonight will bow someday at the feet of Jesus and they'll remember that the time. I'm so upset watching one of them other night. Amen. Asked him, you believe the Bible is true? He said, probably not. I thought you don't deserve to be that. You don't deserve to be that. I don't care who you are. Amen. You deny the deity of Christ. You tell me that book ain't true. I don't have confidence in you. That book's true, brother. That Bible is true. It means everything it says. It's old fashioned. Sure it is. Amen. It's, it's, it's out of date for this world. Sure it is. But it's still on course to lead us. Just like God said in His Word. This thing was coming to an end. Amen. I'm going to close real quickly. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9. Thus said the Lord, let the wise men not glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Neither let the rich man glory his riches, but let him, oh, I watched that this afternoon, I thought Mr. Buffett, Mr. Buffett, oh, Mr. Buffett, you just don't know what you're talking about, Hoss. You might have all the money this world could ever hold. You might know how to make billions of dollars, and I might just be a little two or four preacher down here in Scottsville, Kentucky. But there's going to be a day, Tom, that we all will stand naked before God. And what I mean by that is, amen, I mean they no lawyers going to be there. The lawyers don't know only lawyers going to be there. They're going to be in the judgment right with you. And we're going to stand for God. Amen, before God. And then God ain't going to say, well, you have billions of dollars. No, no, we're all going to be one. We're going to stand before God, and the only thing that's going to matter there, amen, is what we've done for the Lord Jesus Christ and His kingdom, just like a priest today. And then people like Mr. Buffett and, and, and Ted Turner and all the rich crap. No, I'm not against rich people. I'm glad they got it. I just wish they had enough sense to know. You don't know how to sit under an anchor tree and to stand out of the anchors till his belly swells up. Never one time look up at that anchor tree and see where the anchors are coming from. Is that not just like a bear? of the night. We prosper and prosper and prosper. And now the prosperity is going and it's leaving. And then tonight, the only ones 